If you wish to apply fertilizers properly, start by taking a soil sample and sending it to the Fertilizer Advisory Service at SASRI. The soil test report you get from our laboratory will tell you what type of fertilizer you need to apply and at what rate. For purposes of this exercise, let's assume that the recommendation is for urea at a rate of 300 kg per hectare. Now let's see how we go about applying this fertilizer correctly using the tin and string method. You will need your fertilizer, a suitably sized tin to apply the fertilizer, a length of string or rope, a scale to determine the mass of fertilizer in the tin, and a measuring tape. We are now going to calculate the distance that a full tin of fertilizer must cover. It doesn't matter what size tin you use, this calculation will work for any tin of any size. Start by calculating the net mass of fertilizer in the tin. You do this by weighing the empty tin first, then filling it with fertilizer and weighing it again. The net mass will be the difference between these two. In our case, it's the 0 0.4 kilograms, the tin with the fertilizer, minus the 0 0.01 kilograms, giving us a net mass of 0.39 kilograms. Next, you will have to take into account your row spacing. You should know your row spacing, but if you don't, it's quite easy to measure. Let's assume this is my field and these are my cane rows. My row spacing will be the distance from the center of one cane row to the center of the next. In this example, my row spacing is 1.2 meters. Next, we calculate the total row length per hectare. So again, if this is my field and these are my cane rows, we're simply trying to find out the total distance per hectare over which the fertilizer must be spread. We do this by taking the area and dividing it by the row spacing. We know that an area of 1 hectare is 10,000 square meters and we divide that by my row spacing which is 1.2 meters giving me 8,333 meters. Now we can work out how much fertilizer to apply per meter. We do this by dividing the recommended rate by the total row length. In our case, this works out to 0 0.036 kilograms per meter. The final calculation is to work out the distance that each tin of fertilizer must cover. We do this by taking the net mass and dividing it by the fertilizer per meter. In our example, this works out to 10.9 meters. So this means that the fertilizer in this tin must cover a distance of 10.9 meters. You're probably thinking that you won't remember all of this. Well, to help you, we've prepared this calculation guide, which has all the steps written down. To make it even simpler, we've also designed a handy Excel spreadsheet application for you. Simply enter your recommended rate of application, the net mass of fertilizer per tin, your row spacing, and the spreadsheet will calculate the distance that that fertilizer must cover. There's also a useful help section with instructions and examples. Now that we know that the fertilizer in this tin must cover 10.9 meters, we need to measure the string and cut it to this length. This 10.9 meter length of string will help us apply our fertilizer correctly in the field. Simply place the string on the ground alongside the cane row, then spread all the fertilizer from the tin evenly over the cane row using the string as a guide. Then refill the tin, move the string along, and repeat the process. Continue in this fashion until the entire field has been fertilized. Should any fertilizer remain in the tin when you have reached the end of the string, 
you must apply this over the section just fertilized. If the fertilizer in the tin gets finished before you reach the end of the string, then you are applying the fertilizer too quickly. You will need to adjust your speed of application so that each tin covers the full length of the string.